adjusted my mic. Right, it's a post-COVID lockdown, early morning flight, nervous as hell. I am cacking it, but mega excited to be getting back in the air. I'm all prepped, things laid out. I'm gonna fly to an old favorite, which is where the wind's coming from. A uh, body of land. Oh, sorry, a body of water, even. Good Drake cut. Over the whole lockdown period, I've been having dreams of flying to some amazing new places. And the first flight back, you just want to fly, you don't care where you're going. I've recently uh, serviced the carburetor. I watched a few videos how to service the carburetor. All look straightforward, yeah, I can handle that. I did what I thought was a good job. Then I watched the Scout um, video on how to do a Viterazzi carburetor. And he did it a lot more thorough, shall we put it? Soaked the membranes, cleaned the membranes in petrol, I didn't do that. Soaked them for a bit in petrol. I didn't do any of that. I just put the fresh membranes in, bosh. So I was thinking they've got residue or whatever on them. Um, he didn't change one of the little uh, filters, I did. Take off. Here we go. It is smooth as. It really is. I'm hands off on the climb out. Oh, I'm used to having my reserve on my left and I've swapped it. And uh, it's just I always used to comfort, comfort, uh, tap it. But now it's on my right. Oh, I've just got to get in the zone. I'm still in my um, new to this environment mode. There we go. Let's mellow out of it. Scanning around. I haven't seen anything. I ain't heard anything all morning. I don't think GA's up yet. We've had the lockdown in the UK. And um, the Civil Aviation Authority basically said... General aviation is not a good idea. Don't do it. So we adhere to that. My wing's been serviced and uh, the brake lines have been shortened. Yeah, shortened. It's been tested. Considering I bought it brand new, I used it for learning on and then one season I uh, did have a bit of a heavy ground handling session over at the Dune de Pilat in France with sand and uh, heavy ground handling conditions but I still thought, you know, it's brand new, it'd be alright. Well the four categories is very good, fair, no, something like excellent, very good, good, no, no, it's Something like excellent, very good, good, and bad. And it came in as just good. I'm like, what, what, what? Just good. Should be golfers, and they are, there's golfers. Wee -hoo. First golfers since the lockdown, that is. Yeah, this is into wind, I'm sure. I'll get a better look at this water direction. I'm gonna get down. Wow, did I see an interesting video about ways to, uh, I'll, best, I'll put the link in, shall I? Woo! 
uh, of um, a guy who's saying, I think, 10 ways to read the wind, to read which way the wind's going. Uh, <laughs> the most interesting one of the lot was check the cows, because they have their backsides to wind. I never knew this. I never knew this. This is new to me, mate. Backsides to wind. Most cows in a field will be facing with their asses to the wind. That is fascinating. No one sailing. No one fishing, no one sailing. Drake Hot Water is a VRP, a um, visual reference point for aviation. Uh, so, it's somewhere people make reference to in the sky and could possibly fly to it as a waypoint. But the other plus side of that is they're more vigilant at visual reference points because of that reason, I guess. So, you know, we're all right. It's a big sky. And I have seen nothing. Nothing. I always have sunglasses on because it's just the wind's out your eyes for a start. Polarised Ray-Bans, that's the ones to have, for me. Swan taking off. Come and join me, Swan. This is just sitting here, in the sky. I just can't get over it. I never can get over it. I've got a flying machine that I carry around in my van. I pull it out and I can get myself up in the sky and fly around. It's there's nothing like it. It's just uh, this is life. This is life. It's all quite new house and estate that is, isn't it? A town like Rugby or any town just grows out into the countryside. This, these look like they would have just been beautiful fields not very long ago at all. And I bet you one day these will all be covered in houses. Say, eh? sad really, isn't it? I mean, it's nice houses, nice estate, but it's not a beautiful green field, is it? Better check my fuel. Loads. loads. I knew I'd have loads. Ooh. There is this. This area is covered in uh, bridal pathways. Little walks across the countryside where you've got a right. The public have a right of way across all this beautiful farmland. And you can see it from the sky, lovely. Look at that path across those three brown fields. The River Avon, that is. There's lots of little patches of the River Avon around here. The Avon, uh, as in Stratford upon Avon. The River Avon that goes through Stratford. Trims are in, ladies and gentlemen. We're approaching the landing field. I feel like the days of the old aviators, the old, but the first balloonists uh, in my contraption, because I am just in a contraption. I'm not in an aeroplane, I'm in a goddamn contraption. Look how beautiful that field looks. Wow. Like a billiard ball. Well, my landing direction looks pretty good, actually. It looks straight where I took off from. I've got lots of length of runway. It does look all right. Let's go right out over here. It looks like it's changing direction.
Well that was a privilege. It literally felt like a privilege. It did. To just fly around the sky in a contraption. Quiet. The beautiful English countryside. We just had a nice little tour tour from the air. Awesome. Absolutely awesome.